I'm Liam Bowen, head coach at UMBC. I'm here with Figure It Out Baseball, and right now we are gonna take our guys to their daily rolling routine that's gonna get their soft tissues, essentially their muscles, loose and ready to throw. Right now, Luke and Gabe are going through our daily uh, rolling routine. They're gonna try and hit a bunch of different muscle groups, starting with their calves. If they're tight in their hamstrings, they'll even roll the bottom of their feet, as wild as that sounds, because that's something uh, that's been proven to kind of loosen things up as you go up the kinetic chain. But both these guys for now uh, can start with their calves and work their way up the bottom of their legs. That's where they're gonna start. I think a lot of coaches are scared with uh, soft tissue work and rolling in particular because it hasn't been a part of baseball for a very long time and they think it needs to be something fancy or something uh, complicated and, and almost hard to understand. That's not the case at all. You see where uh, all um, Gabe and, and Luke are using are these uh, pieces of two inch PVC pipe that we cut at two feet. It's definitely very cost effective, uh, much more so than foam rollers and you can keep them outside, uh, which for our setup uh, definitely helps. And all they're trying to do is take uh, so far their calves and their hamstrings and put pressure on them across the muscle. They're gonna do the same thing with their quads right now. The reason we do this is because when a muscle gets tight or gets knotted up, it's number one, less useful to us as a pitcher. You're not gonna be able to, to fire it as quickly or get as much output out of it. And then second, you got a propensity for injury there. And, and any of us, um, certainly I know this, the older I get, when you, when you wake up and in the morning and you get out of bed and, and part of your body's a little bit tight, it's not really in a great position to start moving. And that's where this rolling program comes in. Because you have to remember, these guys are rotating, they're both right-handed pitchers. So these guys are both rotating towards their left over and over and over again and that's has a tendency to build up imbalances and we can start to restore some of those imbalances with this rolling program and then later after they get done throwing with our mobility work we do this every day uh, this is something that i think anytime a guy is going to throw with any kind of intensity beyond kind of a backyard game of catch it's absolutely worthwhile doing and you can get your players to the point where they can do it pretty quickly and one thing that you'll have to look out for if you input this with your team is a lot of people who haven't done this before, a group of players who isn't used to it, they're going to, they're not gonna love it at first. It's gonna be a little bit painful for them. It shouldn't be terrible, but it's gonna be something um, uh, that is uncomfortable for them. After a week or two, it's really easy to keep the guys on top of this because they, they get to where they really like it and they, and they get to where they almost can't start throwing without it. The only other thing you need for a good rolling program besides the PVC pipes is a lacrosse ball. So right now, um, both Gabe and Luke are rolling the back of their shoulder and that can be done a couple of different ways. Right here, Gabe is moving his hand to move the, basically move the muscles in his shoulder along that lacrosse ball. And the only thing you need to cue your players here is you just got to get the lacrosse ball to a, a point in your shoulder where it, it kind of lights your shoulder up where you can really feel it. That's how you know you're hitting the right spot. And then Luke is rolling it a little bit more manually where he's actually rolling his shoulder ac across the lacrosse ball. For me, either way is fine. And once again, it's something where if you give the players the, the tools and the instruction and kind of the why behind, um, you know, the lacrosse ball rolling that you're going to do for your shoulder every day, then how they execute it, you can give them a little bit of freedom with that and you're going to be in the right place. And then the last thing the guys are going to roll here is their pec minor, which is basically the, the front of their shoulder. Um, I try and keep the terms really uh, uh, simple and not technical because I, I don't think most people, you know, want to get an anatomy degree before they start uh, getting their pitchers warmed up and ready to throw. So. Uh, if you just kind of think about this as the very front of the shoulder, basically just above the armpit, that's what we're going for here. And both these guys are just rolling it manually with the, uh, with the lacrosse ball, just rolling it across uh, the front of their shoulder, getting that part of their shoulder loose. This is a part of the shoulder that tends to get tight and tends to get knotted up if you don't pay attention to it. Again, guys, Liam Bowen with UMBC Baseball. Thanks for watching. Right now, our guys are all the way warmed up, their bodies are loose, it's time to start picking up a ball and throwing it, and we're gonna start that with plyo drills.